Okay, I just wanted to share my uh, my Gateway uh, 2000 uh, laptop that I just picked up. It came in this nice HP uh, bag, and you'll see when I open it up, it has a Gateway two Solo 2000 um, Pentium laptop, and it's in pristine condition. It was stored for 20 years and not used. And so we'll open it up. So on one side here it has a HP DeskJet, Deskjet 340 printer that has all the cables in here and an extra ink cartridge in here. And it has the connector, parallel port connector here. And adapter so that and I've tried it and it powers up and works but it needs new cartridges so that's kind of a neat addition there and on the other side here is the laptop so you've got the AC adapter here and the ports to plug it in and um, it has the, the laptop here it has some floppy disks the uh, boot disk and Faxworks. It comes with a 28.8 modem built into the side here. I'll open it up and plug it in and uh, show it powering up here. Okay, here's the whole uh, Gateway 2000 solo laptop setup that I've got here. We've got the laptop right here running Windows 95 and it's got the touchpad with the two buttons and a floppy drive in the front. We've got a couple uh, floppy disks here, one for Faxworks and another for a boot disk for this computer. We have a sealed system CD for it and then there's a, this is the PC card um, modem uh, connector that connects to the phone line and we have the AC adapter here and this is a little storage bag that contains some of the wires and adapters for the uh, portable uh, Hewlett Packard Desktop 340 printer and we've got the owner manual for the printer and the dr uh, printer driver for Windows 95 or Windows 3.1 whenever you're running on this computer at that time. Then we got this attractive bag that it all gets stored in, which it was stored in for 20 years and not used. Okay, so let's take a look at what's, what's on this laptop here. So we have the start button, all the typical, looks a lot like modern, but um, there's a lot of it has easy wind, I don't know what that is, professional photos, transit, I'm not sure what that is, Microsoft Exchange, Microsoft Network, DeskJet, DeskJet 300 series, so that's to work the laptop printer that comes with this, Faxworks, accessories, that's the typical games that came with Windows 95, multimedia, has a CD player, but this does not have a CD. You could plug one in on this serial port. Uh, media player. Let's see what they have on here. Probably just the ones that came with uh, Windows 95. So it has, uh, let's see, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. So yeah, it's kind of a MIDI version. So there we go with the audio. So let's shut it down now. We're gonna shut down. There we go. So there's my Gateway laptop, uh, Gateway 2000 Solo, um, 1995 laptop. 
with a 120 megahertz Pentium 1 processor. One thing that I found very interesting with this uh, computer was I opened up the um, Internet Explorer, which is Internet Explorer 3.0, and it had some of the pages when it was last used in 1996 still in its um, history folder. So here we have AOL NetFind. This is what it looked like back then. It had a kind of a directory here and a search search bar. It won't work because I'm not connected to the internet, but um, you know that's there. Then we have a furniture contract company that maybe this is where the the person who owned that this at that time was working. Um, and that find and then we have InfoSeek, which is a, was another search engine. It has a big yellow. Um, yellow pages search there also so info seek um, what else okay here we go uh, microsoft.com which has a, a search bar here and it has a net find on there info seek see that one wasn't stored uh, that one uh, see oh, there's excite so that comes up that was another one that was around uh, Lycos see if Lycos is in here nope um, but it's a lot of interesting pages here there's the excite search results with uh, a chat chat ad bar there and it has some search results here what he was searching for uh, see May 14th 1995 1996 here so some pretty pretty cool uh, things on here okay so one last thing here on this gateway solo uh, 2000 laptop I was looking on looked up uh, the gateway on uh, Google here and I found a PC magazine issue January 23 1996 and they were doing reviews on current laptops at that time and this is the laptop that I have here, this uh, Gateway 120, Pentium 120 laptop, and I, it was retailing for close to $6,000 back then. And it says here that it's uh, targeted toward the Road Warrior. So it, it was a pretty uh, pretty good laptop back then. Um, kind of a good review of it there. Uh, some of the specs that it had and its ratings and um, also another picture of it here and going on down and give some more stats on it here so anyway it's a pretty good machine and uh, hope you enjoyed this review